and welcome to another CMG Tech Byte video. My name is Sugat Subhastov and in this session I'm going to talk about how to create black hole fluid model in WinProp. So black hole fluid model can be defined in multiple ways. First is using correlations. Now correlations we use when we have very limited data only let's say this is about temperature, GOR and oil and gas densities. We can define correlations in Builder and you can see on the right hand side list of correlations we have in order to generate PVD table. Now if you have lab data and if your PVD data is consistent and valid and your lab separator test is the same that the one in the field, then we can add the PVT directly to the table in Builder. As you can see on the right side, um, the PVT table already uh, generated and added to the um, table here. And you can add undersaturated in the undersaturated data. Now, this is not always the case. So, um, if our, for example, lab separator test is different that of field, it can lead to error in the prediction of GOR and formation volume factor. So, in that case, we have to define an equation of state and model the fluid. That we can do using WinProp. And you can see on the right side, the module which is used for defining black oil PVT data. In this video, we are going to talk about the last part in WinProp. Now, black oil PVT table can be generated for different uh, fluid models like black oil, pseudo miscible with or without chase gas, gas water with or without condensates and volatile. In this session, we are going to focus only on black oil. So now defining the uh, black oil PVT, PVT. So what data we need? So we need differential liberation test data in order to simulate how PVT properties change as the pressure depletes in the reservoir. Now we need separator test data in order to understand um, how the fluid behaves when it is brought to the surface and to uh, accurately determine GOR and formation volume factor. Now for above saturation pressure, we can either determine it using extrapolation or by simulating a swelling experiment. Now this is a general workflow. So first we have to input the composition and characterize crude oil. Then we have to input lab data using relevant modules. After that, we have to tune equation of state parameters by matching the lab data. Then we have to include the black hole PUT data module, input required values and run. It will generate an additional file with an extension of .imx because it is uh, IMX PUT table, which can be imported into Builder and thus into our reservoir model. Let's look at the demonstration. Now, before moving on to WinProp, let me show you the data which I have. So this is the composition data, and this is the saturation pressure data, CC test, separator test, differential liberation test, and these are the different pressure levels and separator table, uh, separator conditions which I want in my PT table. So now let's move on to WinProp demonstration. Okay, so here you can see a fresh um, WinProp window. So here, let me just add the title quickly. So since it's black oil PT table, so just I'll write that. In this session, I'm going to use Bang Robinson equation of state. The unit will be in PSIA and degree Fahrenheit. The feed will be in mole fraction. 
let's add the component. So as you have seen already, uh, we have nitrogen till C6. So I'll just add them. And I'll just click on apply. Now for composition, I have to add using the Excel. Now make sure that you don't add the um, C7 plus fraction here. We are going to add C7 plus fraction using split. So in this case, for this fluid, I'm going to use gamma distribution. And I'm going to uh, use four pseudo components. I'll break C7 plus into four pseudo components. Now it depends on your fluid, which uh, distribution function you want or how many pseudo components you want and so on. So I'll just add the molecular weight of C7 plus fraction. And I'm going to keep the shape parameter as one, alpha as one. So I'll just save the file. And I'll just run it. After running it, you can see here, I'll just update the components. So you can see four new hypo components we have. Now, I'll just cut because uh, we have already done this part, so I'll just cut it. Then I'll add the lab modules. So we have lab data of um, saturation pressure, then CCE, differential liberation, and separate test. Now, since I have explained you previously, so uh, we have to add everything in the uh, regression because we are going to regress and match the equation of state parameters to match the uh, lab data. So I'll just click on regression parameters and I'll use module operation, cut all four and paste everything in the regression column. Now here I can change different parameters, equation of state parameters and I can match the data. Now, this is quite a tedious and time-consuming task, which I have already done, and I'll show you. So, this is my final um, request uh, data. So, here you can see we have a pretty good match in almost all the properties. Same goes for CCE and so on. Let's add black hole PET data. So this is the dialog box which I was talking about. Now let's add the saturation pressure. So the temperature we already know is 258. Then saturation pressure estimate is 3250.7. And then pressure levels. Separator test. Swelling experiment. Then we can go on to water properties. So we just add the water properties here. Now, after adding these three, we can estimate the rest by clicking on this button. I'll keep uh, everything by default. And for the gas property, since we don't have any secondary fluid, so I'm just going to use um, solution gas composition at the oil original saturation pressure. And that is it. I'll save it and I'll run. So you can see, let me show you the PVT table, uh, PVT data generated. So this is the PVT da data generated.
Now I can import the same in Builder. For that, I have already opened a reservoir, sample reservoir model. I'll go to the components. You can see the previously defined, uh, comp uh, previously defined component here. RSPO property, then EG, viscosity, all the properties. Now I just click on this button here, import WinProp generated module. And I'll just add one. So as you can see that, as I've already explained, it will be .imx format. So it is this is it. But you can open it using any text editor. So this is the updated uh, PVT. Uh, this is the updated component. So you can see BOT, BOT table. And if you want to see the PVT tables, so just go to PVT region one, double click on it, go to PVT table. You can see that since it is in kilopascals, so the values differ, but uh, because of the change in units, but it's the same. And in the under saturated data, you can see different tables. Here. All these tables you can find in that .imx file. So that's it from my side. Thank you. And for such videos, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.